Well, hello, and welcome to yet another video by D Magician 2500. Today's episode, we dive into the past. Into 1965, to be exact. Because here in my hands, I hold a encyclopedia set from 1965, from the section of A. I thought it would be fun to go through and pick out some random passages uh, in, the sec in the A section of this encyclopedia set from 1965 uh, and do some readings and see if there's any impact to society um, or changes that have been made from the day that this was written to now, maybe we can correct those or make some updates or just reflect on uh, the changes that have come since 1965. Okay, and perhaps there hasn't been any changes. So let's take a look, shall we? Okay, so it's a blue book, hardcover, A. Okay, got an encyclopedia. Oh, there's a newspaper clipping. From Conte is common in France, Italy. For you, it's not time for play. Okay, here we go. Africa. Uh, here's a uh, picture. Pictures might be more helpful than me reading of some some land use in Africa. Some tropical forest. Uh, farming, nomadic herding, barren. Uh, likely, likely that has changed considerably due to uh, deforestation, uh, perhaps climate change, and uh, also globalization. Okay. Let's open it up. Um, this page is the uh, process of how aluminum is made. Okay, well, let's walk through it together. Uh, we've got some bauxite ore that you take from a mine, you crush it up, and you put it into a bath, a mixer. You add some lime and soda ash and water. Uh, it gets pumped or somehow into a digester where you add some steam, a uh, source of heat, I assume, and some caustic soda. All right. And then it goes to a filter. Not sure what gets filtered out, but then it goes to a precipitator where I guess the caustic soda solution on top gets uh, removed and then the aluminum crystals go to a room rotary kiln. I guess a rotary kiln. And then it goes further to a uh, electrolytic cell Okay, and from there, um, crust of electrolyte and alumina gets uh, sent out into a ladle where then you can mold it into the metal of aluminum. That's interesting. I don't know if that process has changed. It's possible. Okay, we got uh, antelope and some pictures of antelope. Hand run and... Um, Photography. Apple. The apple is the most valuable of all the fruits that grow on trees. Here, where are you? You're hitting the camera. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Archery. Maybe I'm getting too far ahead of myself. Oh, arithmetic. Aria, careful. Antiques. Oh, here's a good one. Apollo Project. Sea space travel. Being that this is from 1965, I uh, assume there's been some major updates. Uh, I think the moon landing was July in 19... 
69. I do have a One Giant Leap Forward book, uh, recommended reading for the 50th anniversary last year that I did uh, during July 2019. Really good. Uh, the Apollo Project, so see space travel. Not much description, but if we had the S book, which I do have, uh, we could look into that further. Okay. Architecture. Army. Army is an organized body of soldiers trained to fight on land. An army may also be a large unit of ground forces under a single commander that operates independently or with other armies. And there's some pictures of soldiers in uh, Canada, Russia, uh, Germany, some different things. Asia. Asia. Religion. All the world's great religions began in Asia. Buddhism, Christianity, Confucianism, Hinduism, Islam, Judaism, Shintoism, and Taoism. Um, so it's all the major religions of the world. Interesting fact, uh, started in Asia. Okay, uh, sorry if I didn't mention your religion. Um, but those are the major ones. Okay. Uh, assimilation. Assimilation is the process by which foods are changed into living tissues. Uh, I think that's changed since then. Um, assimilation to me means the Borg are coming and you need to beware. Okay, astronomy. How stars are weighed. In 1666, Sir Isaac Newton proposed that each bit of material in the universe pulled on every other bit of matter. I think that might be a foreshadowing to the law of gravity. I think gravity may have been changed since 1965. Atomizer is a device that finally produces spray by forcing a liquid through tiny openings. Oh, here we go, getting into atomic energy. The nuclear ship Savannah. Atomic energy. Chain reactor. Atomic energy also has likely changed since then. 1965 was more or less um, only a decade or two uh, beyond when we developed the nuclear bomb. Okay, Australia. Animals. Australia has many kinds of strange animals not found on other continents. The reason I'm reading like that is they decided to switch the writing to be uh, horizontal instead of vertical like usual. The automobile. How the automobile developed. No single man can be given credit for inventing the automobile. So this is a little uh, outdated because as we all know, um, um, Mr. Ford Henry Ford uh, was the single creator of the automobile. I'm not sure why in 1965 we didn't have that information, but that is a little outdated. Okay, aviation. When you look up into the sky, you may see aircraft of different kinds. A big airliner thunders overhead, carrying passengers and mail between cities. Interesting. Still in aviation for the last few pages. Uh, Avicenna, also known as Ibsina, was an Arab physician, philosopher, astronomer, and poet. His most famous work was his Canon of Medicine and is used as a medical text for over 600 years and still used occasionally in the Orient. Interesting. Uh, we got some Aztec. Okay, might be interesting. Uh, I'm sure there's some runes that we've discovered since 1965. So there is a, a very short snippet, short and sweet snippet of what was covered in the 1965 uh, World Book Encyclopedia. Um, a lot of things perhaps have changed going from Africa land use to 
uh, the Apollo project, um, astronomy, uh, what do we cover? Um, aluminum, the aluminum process. Who knows how that's changed? So if you know of how the aluminum process works today, I'd be interested in finding out more. So if you could comment uh, and let me know what the general process is, we can compare. So there you have it. A review of the World Book Encyclopedia. I appreciate you watching. Appreciate Hope you've learned a little something from our past. So they say uh, if you don't study your past, you're doomed don't. to repeat it. Let's not repeat it. Don't. Okay. Thanks for watching. As always, Thank you. like and subscribe and comment. Goodbye.